So the Twitter forces were out in full force on Saturday with photos of John Gruden in Knoxville. Yeah. We'll show you some examples of this. Gruden seen at the game, seen around Knoxville. There he is, a local uh, restaurant. Uh, groomers. The groomers, yeah. I love that. Uh, at Vol Rumor Mill on Twitter. Uh, there's another picture of him there in the uh, restaurant. I believe we have a picture oh, of no. him. In doesn't, the uh, stadium. Doesn't he represent Corona? Doesn't John Gruden do the Corona commercial? Oh, does he? Is, <laughs> is he, is he, he getting the wrong like a, beer? Oh, oh no. no. Oh, Wait, man. is that a beer bottle or is that like one of those fancy water bottles? Uh, I don't know. It might be that, too. It looks like a Lowenbrow or something like that. Um, <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> you've, heard, you've heard a low and brown. brown. No, man. Uh, it's like an old, like, you know, foreign beer from the 80s. I, mean, I think we also have a, uh, do we have a picture of him si- sitting in the stands, actually? Uh, so, but he was at the game. You see yeah. the uh, photos kind of showing up uh, from there on that. Here's my point on this. I think it is a cheap move on the part of John Gruden to be at this game yeah, if he's so not cool. interested in coaching Tennessee. It's unfair to Butch Jones, which I don't really care about. I mean, I, I, I don't care one way or another. I thought that's what the way you were going. No, I, a cheap move. Listen, I don't care one way or another about Butch Jones. But a lot of Vols fans do want John Gruden. And they are going to get their hopes up about Gruden being at the game. He knows that. He's cultivating this attention yeah, by is. being there. He's certainly not doing anything to kind of ramp it down. This is a dirty move on Gruden's part if he's not interested in this job. And if come to find out he's not interested in this job, I'll never look at him the same way again. He's a relatively benign figure to me right now. Not a terrible broadcaster, kind of a big personality. I'm fine with him. There's a chance he might be a good college coach. I'm not quite sure I know one way or another. But he's a jerk in my mind forever. If he goes to this game and then does not at least entertain the Tennessee offer when it comes, because I believe it is coming. I agree. If he doesn't at least entertain it, then he's done the people of Knoxville wrong. Well, and, and maybe the people in the comment section have a little bit more background. I think, his, does his son go to Tennessee? There's some kind of connection where yeah. he knows somebody that goes there. The son does so go he, to Tennessee. But I, I agree with you. The timing is all off on this. And, and, and I don't know that I'm so much worried about what it's going to look like for, for the Tennessee fans. And the fans. Monday night game in Nashville tonight, too, yeah, right? Yeah, so I, it's close enough. Yeah, and I, I don't know that I'm so more much worried about, you know, the this is kind of him leading Tennessee fans in the wrong direction. I thought it was kind of cheap on his part for Butch Jones, honestly. And I, I know that you know you said you don't care about Butch Jones and his feelings or whatever. I thought it was a cheap part from one from one coach to another. By the way, he has the, uh, you know he runs the the organization called the Fired Football Coaches of America. Oh, is that right? Yeah, and, and so he wears those well, he's hats. He's have one. Yeah, yeah. Maybe he's got another dude he paying member. He's like yeah. he's there. He needs to show like, up. Butch, and check hey, you know out. what? I, Pass the hat. <laughs> yeah. here's, here's, your, uh, here's your application. FFCA that he always wears across his hat. That, it's, and so if that's what you're going to hang your hat on, literally, uh, I thought it was kind of a bad But listen, if you're in the coaching fraternity, maybe you care about how Gruden treats Butch Jones. I'm not in the coaching fraternity. True. I'm True. not one of these guys that says all coaches have to stick up for each other. If Gruden wants the Tennessee job, this is a great way to show it. Be there in Knoxville. Start to get that attention. Send that message to John Curry about how serious you are. If you want the job, I got no problem with you doing that. You know, you want to cut in on the dance floor, this is your chance to do that. That. But if you don't want the job and you're doing this, then you're just an attention-seeking, you know, you know what. Well, I'll, I'll even go one step further. Now, I don't know why Tennessee fans would want John Gruden to have that. I understand he's a big name, but first of all, I think he's making six and a half million dollars yeah. on Monday Night Football to do that. You're going to have to come with some serious pocketbook if you're going to want to get him out of that profession where he's working one day a week calling football games, and all of a sudden you want him to show up and, and enter in recruiting. I don't think he wants to recruit. I, I don't have any track record that shows me he's a good college football coach. Yeah. I think Tennessee's got to make a better hire than that. I, I know the rumors have been out there, and Paul Feinemann. Has been talking about it. I'm just telling you, I don't think the guy will work out. I think Tennessee fans need a little bit better than that.